Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from filmlinevisualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to create this cinematic title animation inside of Adobe After Effects so let's see what we will create today. This video is sponsored by Reshot. Are you looking for high quality icons, illustrations, stock photos? Then Reshot is a perfect place for you. In Reshot, you will find here tons of free assets like icons, illustrations, stock photos made by talented creators. All assets are 100% free, you can use it for your personal and commercial projects. No attributes and sign up required to download asset from Reshot. Click the link in the description box below to download your free asset today. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Ok, so let's get started. Before I start the tutorial, I like to tell you, in this tutorial, I am using third party plugin called element 3d from video copilot if you don't have this plugin you can check video description for more information okay so first create a new composition let's call it cinematic title and i'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration 6 seconds long then click on ok now create a text layer so right click new then click on text and I am using Sinzel font, you can download this font from the link in the description box below. Ok, let's type your text here. Let's make it a little bit smaller and make it center. Now turn off visibility of this layer, then create a new black solid layer, so right click new, then click on solid and rename it to element 3D. Then click on OK. Now go to effect and preset window and search for element 3D. Now select this effect and apply onto this layer. Then go to uh, custom layers then go to custom text then path layer 1 set it our text layer epic tailor then go to scene setup then simply click on extrude then press r on your keyboard and then simply increase the depth something like this perfect now go to preset then go to physical then select this chrome texture and apply onto this uh, model perfect now go to environment and then go to basic environment and i'm going to use this environment you can choose any other you want now click on ok perfect Okay, now go to uh, uh, render settings, then go to lighting and then add lighting, set it 360. Then go to ambient occlusion, then turn on ambient occlusion and then intensity set it 20. Perfect. Ok, let's import our project files, you can download these project files from the link in the description box below. Ok, let's uh, select this lens flare, then place it into this timeline. Ok, let's adjust the position. And then uh, make this layer 3D by clicking here. 
now again go to project window and select particles then place it into this timeline and then change the layer mode to add then select this dark cloud layer then place it into this timeline now create a new black solid layer then click on ok and place it above the dark cloud layer then simply select this layer and then go to toolbar and select ellipse tool then double click on it then press F on your keyboard and then increase the feather amount to maybe 600 then simply click on invert looks good to me ok now select this element 3d layer then go to effect and preset window and search for curves now select this effect and apply onto this layer and then change the rgb curves to something like this then channel set it to blue and then change the graph curve to something like this ok now create a new adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for photo filter then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer and then filter type set it uh, blue and density set it 30 then again go to effect and preset window and search for sharpen then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer and sharpen amount set it 20 then again go to effect and preset window and search for noise then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer and noise around 35 perfect ok now go to beginning of this animation then go to element 3d then go to group 1 and then uh, go to particle look then go to multi object then enable multi object now uh, uh, set a keyframe on rotation random and then set it 180 then set a keyframe on x displace and then increase the amount a little bit something like this then go to 5 seconds and then change the uh, rotation random value to 0 and x displace set it maybe uh, set it 0 looks good to me now select this layer then press u on your keyboard now select this two keyframe then press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this perfect ok let's turn on motion blur on this layer by clicking here also turn on this big motion blur icon ok now create a new black solid layer so right click new then click on solid then click on ok now go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then double click on it then double click on this max bar then hold down alt control then drag now click on invert our animation is complete press G to run preview this I hope you like this tutorial, thank you very much, I will see you in the next video, till then peace out.